guys uh, this is my old to uh, Audi A4 um, with the spider lights that I bought I'm gonna show you guys I see a lot of videos online people want to see this on or they want to know if you need to remove the front bumper this this was already done when I bought the car I don't know how did that happen but I was already there but uh, no the answer about if you need to remove the front bumper you don't I'm gonna show you guys real quick Also LEDs right now it might be bright right now you might not really see it on but it's on they're on see that that's on um My hood doesn't stay up, so that's the only problem with it. But, I'm going to show you guys uh, what you need to take out. You're going to have two bulbs here. One, two on your other lights. When you pop your hood, you're going to have two here. This is for 2002 Audi A4. I see some videos that are saying there's a bulb in here that you need to take out too. You don't for the O02 O2 A4. Um, just this one. This one. And, um, I don't know if you can see it. There's one right down there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me try and see if I can zoom in a little bit. You see that bolt right down there? This one? It's, it's right there in the middle of my, my, my phone. I mean, uh, I think I went too far. Right, right there anyway. You can see it right there. Right there. Oh man, my skin is right apart clip my skin right there but um you take out that one and there's gonna be another one uh around here because of my wires the hids that i install you can't really see it but just check here there's gonna be another one there another bolt i don't know if you can see it right there oh man it might be too dark but it's right there when my finger is pointing let me see if I can get a flashlight on. My flashlight not coming on. Oh, yep, it's on. Alright, cool. It's right there. You get one there as well. So you're looking at that one. You're looking at this one right here. And these two. They come off real easy. Um, as soon as you take it off, you just pull the light off. You just pull the light off. You don't need to take off the bumper. Same thing with the other side. Sorry, this video is going to be a little really crappy. But same thing with this side. You're going to take out this one. This one, I didn't put the, the bolt on this one because when you attach on this on this end for it to fit perfectly... Um, it looks like this side was not aligned properly, but for it to fix uh, perfectly, I had to not screw a bolt on this one. But you take a one, two, you got to take out these screws, one, two, to take this off. Now, as soon as you take it off, you're going to get one more bolt. It's going to be right, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it without taking this out. I really don't want to take it off. But there's going to be one bolt right under there. Clearly, as soon as you take this off, you're going to see it. It's really easy. As soon as you take that one out, you pull the right, you pull the light out. You just pull this out. It comes off really easy. If I see people really need me to do a video of it, I will do so. But for now, I'm just not going to go through the hassle. It's really easy. You don't need to get a professional. A lot of people say the installational, so you need a professional to do it. You don't, because it's it's simple. The harness, you just take out the one from the old harness. You plug in 
uh, you plug it into this one, you plug it into this one, and that's it. And you just plug your, you just install it back. That's it. For HIDs, I mean, you'll have to get your own HID kits. You'll have the installation on it. That's simple as well. Um, that's simple to do. And that's basically it. Close this. I'll put on the car so I can show you a little more to it. Sorry, I have a little cold. Um, I had it installed um, after Mac radio. Um, this was my doing. The whole the whole system I never had installed before, but I I did it myself foolishly. Um, although I kind of you know I I managed to get the radio in working and everything. Um, managed to get the radio working and everything so this the kit was not the right fit for the stereo uh, that's why I had to cut it the way I did like this I used uh, a knife really I didn't have a proper cutter to cut it so it'll be you know straight and neat and nice um, I had to use a knife heat it up and really cut it down just so this will close but it looks like I still have to cut a little more so this side can go in just so it'll look like this here. Um, I have already ordered a proper kit. I, you know, I ordered, ordered it off Amazon and the seller has decided to sell me a proper kit. They're a proper kit for it. So thank God. Um, they're really good. They're a good company and they're not charging me extra for it. Um, so uh, stereo is Android. Um, I got from eBay. Installation was a little hard because I never did it before. But if you've done an installation of a radio before, that's really easy for you because you know where to do all the wiring and all that. The harness is really easy because it's just plug in. And with this one that came in, came in with its own harness and everything for the car itself. Um, so the installation. Connecting to the harness was really easy. The only difficulty I had was for the speakers. Um, the I had to cut the wires to redo it because it, the harness was not right for the speakers. So I had to redo the wires so my speakers can can work. Um, other than that, um, comes with navigation. Obviously, I ran the wire in here, which is really showing kind of bad right now. Um, I'm going to fix that later on. Um, I ran it in here and came out, went in it, went under there and came out through there. Um, man, my sister was touching my uh, damn thing again. Look at her, she's installing some music and shit. But, um, I'm going to still show you all the lights. That's basically what you guys wanted to find out more. Um... When you're off, like, in case you think that you're going to have lights flagging on, in case you might. Um, I don't, I, I haven't had any codes. Sometimes I do get a code saying my left light is not on. But right now it's not seem, it doesn't seem to be coming on right now, so I think I'm good. Um, yeah, there you go, there you go, it says left parking light. It does it a lot. I don't know why, why it does that, but, I had some HIDs installed, uh, H1s, if you want to know the bulb size, that takes a H1 and that takes a H7, alright, so H1, H7. Either way, I think what well, H ones will go on e each side, but H one H seven. Same with this side, H one H seven. The only disadvantage that I see is my LEDs on this side comes on when I put on my um, HIDs, but this side it doesn't for some reason. It goes off. It comes on and goes off. 
I don't know why. I'll have to find the reason why it's doing that. But when you put your stock lights, it comes on, everything stays on. Um, I have to investigate that. But, um, I'll do a proper video at night. I'll do a second video tonight. And you guys will be able to see better with it, with the lights off. Um, hood is faded. That's why it looks like that. Need to have a paint job done. It's dirty as well. Faded right here.